Yo, what's up everybody? Uh, it's been a long while since I've done any type of videos or podcasts or anything like that. So I wanted to do a short video real quick. Hopefully it's going to be short, um, within five minutes. Had a conversation real briefly today about someone trying to find a local body of believers to go and be a part of, or what some people would say, a church to join, however you uh, phrase that. And I kind of wanted to share a couple of things that I shared with him today. And uh, hopefully it's helpful for anybody out there looking for a church to join, be a part of. And so uh, a couple of things that, that, I, that I would say you want to consider. Uh, one of the first things you want to do is find something close to you. Go to Google, church, uh, search for churches close to me, and then go online and watch their sermons if they have sermons online. Not every church has sermons online. Most do. And, uh, and the first thing you want to see is do they preach Christ or do they preach self? Uh, if you're listening to the sermon, is it about me, myself, and I, or all the verses pointing back to me and how I can be better and how I can do better? Or is it showing how Jesus is the reason that, that we are saved? Is it leading back to Christ? Uh, and that's what we should be gearing everybody toward is learning about Christ, what he did for us that we could not do ourselves and not about how we can do things by ourselves. Um, so that's one thing to pay attention to. Another thing is, is the fellowship of believers really a community of believers? Uh, you wanna find a place where the body is interacting with each other throughout the week and not just on Sunday morning. Uh, you gotta have people that you live life with. You gotta have people that when you have a hard time, you don't wait till Sunday to ask them how they would deal with it or uh, sit down at a meal and, and just talk about life. You wanna find a group of believers where you got at least a handful, two or three people there when you're having a really bad day that you can just text, call, and get some words of encouragement. Uh, that's that's very important. Another thing I would do is, is check to see are they really trying to build up the body? Are they really trying to uh, make disciples? Are they really trying to grow believers in their walk? Or are they just trying to get people in the door, get people in the door, get more people to tithe, get more people to give? Um, I've been in the boat where my main focus as a leader in a body of believers was to get people in the door, get people in the door. We need more people to, 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 to help pay the bills. Uh, church shouldn't be about that. Bill's got to get paid. I understand that, but we shouldn't be just trying to do things to get people in the door. We should be trying to create disciples, make disciples by giving people the word, by, um, getting them to be a part of the body, showing them how they can serve, things like that. Uh, that's very important. Uh, also are, are there other, is it one guy leading the show? Is it one superstar on stage or is there a multitude of, of elders? Is there, or pastors, as most people would, would say, uh, are there multiple people that are leading the body or is it one head honcho? I'd be very hesitant to be a part of a body where you got one person calling the shots and they're like a king of the body instead of a leader with other leaders around them. You gotta have leaders that have people holding them accountable as well. Uh, there's a lot of things that I can mention, a lot of things that, that I went into consideration. Uh, notice I didn't say what type of music do they have. I didn't ask how people dress. I didn't ask if they have awesome fun activities for kids. Kids ministry is important. Uh, my main concern is are they scripture focused? Are they teaching the kids the Bible? Not necessarily are they babysitting them on Sunday morning and the kids have a good time to go home at learning absolutely nothing. Uh, your kids, you want to make sure your kids are learning too. Um, and is it a place where you can serve? That's probably one of the most important things. Do you have a gift that God's given you that, that, that body of believers can benefit from? Cause God didn't give you a gift for you to keep it inside. God gave you a gift for you to be able to serve the body with it. And there's a lot of places in scripture that talk about serving and using your gifts for the body. So I'm going to leave it at that. Keep it under five minutes. I hope it's helpful. Uh, if you disagree, that's cool. If you have any questions or want some clarity, let me know. Love y'all. Have a good one.